So I guess one more check before we start pulling the projector and stuff. Uh, take a look behind the lens here, pull it out. Just make sure that, you know, there's nothing loose. Not, if this is supposed to be on springs, this is normal. But make sure it's not falling apart or something's coming loose in here and, and it's hitting because it could be hitting from there, you know, because the gate's back here and it, you know, just make sure everything looks okay right here uh, before we pull it out. Hi, right, Peter. Okay, let's pull this uh, projector. Uh, I don't have one in the box right now, but I can show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, on the top of the the exhaust, there's a bracket that comes out and attaches to the chimney right here. So just remove the screw. You may have to loosen the screw that's on the chimney just to swing that bracket out of the way, but you'll see it's easy. That's the first step. Then uh, you'll see that these two cords come out and they go to the amplifier. So just pull those out. And then in the back of the unit, there's a plug-in on the bottom. That just pulls straight out and it can only go in one way. It's uh, It looks like this. It pulls, just pulls straight out. It comes from the control box. Then you'll see the plate on the bottom. It's got two slots in the back. Those are towards the amplifier. And then it's got these two holes, one here and one here. And there should be a couple of uh, thumb screws in there that you can just remove by hand. And then once that's off and those things are unplugged, then you can just pull the whole projector out by sliding it off of these pegs back here and making sure it comes out of the hole of the chimney. Pretty easy. You'll also have to remove the uh, belt that goes from this pulley up to the uh, up to the reel to get into the projector to where we need to see what's going on. Let's take some covers off of it. Uh, the first cover is this this uh, rear cover, and uh, you'll see there's a screw here, there's a screw here, and there's a screw right here. Okay, so that number one cover is off. Uh, you might as well. Before you go any farther, you might as well check and make sure everything is good with the sound drum. It spins, that it's not loose. It's not the thing hitting. <laughs> that nothing's hitting in here. You know, it's going to have a little bit of play in this, but, you know, it shouldn't be bad. I, I kind of don't think it's in this area, but it would be kind of, kind of good if it was, I guess, because it wouldn't have to go any farther. Uh, but, so just look there before you do it. Then the next thing to do is take off this chimney. So that's just these four screws here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so the chimney's off. Then we just need this uh, this back covers next. So just the uh, one and two screws should take it off. Okay, so that cover is off. You're going to be able to start seeing where we're trying to get to now. Uh, but we still need to take off the... Uh, the housing for the ball. So that that requires this. Uh, the other side of this, there's a, a screw. Then there's a screw that holds the uh, this plate on that needs to come out. And then one right down here that needs to come out. Now these are <clears throat> gonna have two wires that are held onto this right here. No reason to really disconnect those, just We'll just lay this aside once we get it off. When you're taking this off, there's a squirrel cage down there that you can't see that you need to pull over the hole on. And then see those wires are attached, but we'll just set it aside here. That way we don't have to disconnect it. And now we're in here. So here's the part I'm thinking might be the issue is the gate. Uh, the gate's right here. And this whole piece, if these screws came loose or something, that might have slid up or down, or uh, it could be the the, uh, the claw could be hitting somewhere. Now it's time to kind of manually just you know, pull this thing over. 
until you know you can kind of see what's going on and maybe we can spot something going on in there but you're going to see that lever coming in and out it goes up comes back down pulls the, that's where it pulls the film down once it's in the notches comes back out of the notches goes back up and that's how that all works there but it sounds to me like this might be hitting this and the only way that could be happening is if this plate loosened up because these four screws or something else is making this make all that noise. I sent it over to Larry and he was he's thinking the same thing. We just need to get in here and see what exactly is happening. So uh, let's go from there.